Hi there. Today I bring you another video about that small things that almost nobody cares about in a studio, but they are really important. In this case, these are things that doesn't make any sound and doesn't influence the signal chain. Let's go outside to see them. Number one, a coffee machine. Mine died last week and in a couple of days I received a new one. When you arrive to the studio, you need a coffee to start. And maybe also when you take your breaks for refreshing your ears. I've got a capsule one because they are easy to clean and also because they can make other drinks. Number two, just below the coffee machine, I have a small fridge. As with the coffee machine, we also need to have some cold drinks and water. For singers, it's a bad idea before recording, but maybe they need something cold after a couple of takes. You can have also some beer, but remember not drinking too much if you don't want to ruin your day. Let's move on to the table for the number three. This is a soldering iron. The 90% of my cables are made by me. Why? If you can buy them made. Well, if you make your cables, you can have them with the exact length and the exact connectors you need. And they are cheaper, especially if you need a custom snake. Soldering may seem easy, but soldering well is not. You need to practice a lot and maybe burn your fingers a couple of times. Buy some cream for that and be careful. Always buy good cables and good connectors. I have two soldering irons depending of which connector I have to solder. Number four. Batteries. We need backup batteries for instruments, pedals, maybe our keyboard or mouse. If you use rechargeable ones, buy also normal ones just in case, because you don't want to wait until the batteries are charged to keep working. Number five, phone chargers. for iPhone and also for Android. Your phone battery can be dead in just half day and maybe your client wants to show you a reference track on his phone and his battery is about to die. So you need a compatible charger to be able to listen it. And number six, USB flash drives. I have some Customize with the logo of my studio. Have a look. Cool, isn't it? I present the finished projects uh, with them. And sometimes our clients uh, want to listen to some files at home and it's an easy way to do it. Because for some people, uh, managing with uh, cloud drives isn't easy also is a good way to promote your studio. So that's all for today. Give me some comments about your must-have stuff. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Bye.